Hello everyone and welcome to Pop Drop, your new pop culture digest where I will be deconstructing some of the most interesting pop culture phenomenon, provide social commentary in a form of video essays, and say things that are controversial yet brave. My name is Sandra and I will be your lovely host throughout this journey. So buckle up kiddos, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. started as a pretty average normal year, but then it all went downhill. This year has been heavily defined by the pandemic, which has led to global social and economic disruption, mass cancellations and postponements of events, worldwide lockdown and the largest economic recession since the Great Depression of the 1930s. This year has also been declared as the worst year in terms of climate change by geospatial world due to major climate disasters worldwide. But why is 2020 a truly horrifying year? With the ongoing pandemic and highly unstable political and financial situation looming over us every step of the way, one has to try very hard to detain any sense of normalcy and common sense. One of the biggest problems that we will be facing after the pandemic is the growing distrust in our governments and political institutions. With governments failing to provide a quick and effective response to the virus outbreak, inefficiency in solving emerging social disruptions, and lack of strategy when it comes to relieving shaken economies, we are becoming increasingly skeptical and distrustful of every decision that our governments make. Skeptical? That doesn't sound that bad. Why would that be a problem? Skepticism in itself isn't ever an issue, but the emerging distrust in government institutions is alarming. A new study led by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development finds that people who endure a pandemic in young adulthood tend to be more distrustful of government institutions for the rest of their lives, which is an outcome that makes it more difficult for governments to effectively respond to future pandemics and other social issues. It is kind of a vicious cycle. Citizens expect their governments to be responsive to their health concerns and, where the public sector response is not sufficient, they revise their views in unfavorable ways. What are the implications of this distrust and why do they make 2020 a truly horrifying year? For democratic governments to thrive, a high percentage of their voters need to hold their political leaders and parties in a favorable light. If the governments fail to meet the expectations of their voters, all public policies are under a magnifying glass and face scrutiny. Poor performance leads to deeper distrust, in turn, leaving government in the hands of those with the least respect for it. Public health policies have been under attack the most, giving way to the more extreme right-wing organizations who are promoting the anti-vaccination movement and conspiracy theories about the non-existence of the pandemic itself. As much as the whole pandemic is a hoax outcry seems ridiculous and has provided some pretty good meme material during this year, it's also concerning and could lead up to a steady decline in public health in the future. Governments' pharmaceutical interventions, in particular their vaccination policies, have played an important role in the prevention of contagious diseases. With so many people having little or no trust in their governments and public health systems under their governance, vaccination policies are highly affected. Not only do people fear that vaccines are safe, but they also negate the value that vaccination has had throughout history in preventing deadly diseases such as polio, measles, tuberculosis, and others. Diseases that have been successfully contained thanks to years and years of committed work of public health officials in the entire world may resurface in the upcoming generations if the public shifts towards harmful anti-vaccination policies. It is unknown to which extent 2020 will change the course of history and the way we view the world, but certainly shifts in public opinion and the way the governments respond to any upcoming crisis will affect us all in the years to come. If you liked the video, don't be shy, hit that like button, subscribe for more similar content, and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts on the topic down below in the comments, and until next time, stay safe.